Before I start this video, I wanted to let everybody know I have merch out now. Here are some pictures. Wow, they're so sexy, I know, right? Um, just, if you, who is she? Hi. Who are you? If you want to get a shirt, I put a link in the description, and, uh, yeah. That would be amazing if you could support me. What's up, my sexy motherfuckers? Uh, hi, I'm Trevor Moran. If you're new here, I'm sorry. If you're new here, hello, I hope you stick around, and I hope you're about to enjoy this video that I'm about to fucking lay on ya. Put it on me! So I don't really know if I'm good at telling stories or not, but uh, I've done it a few times here on this channel, and I think this is the one where I just really have been holding back, and I think is the time that I now have to share with my lovely, lovely viewers. So if you can't tell by fucking looking at me, I'm gay. And some gay people, when they are growing up, they experiment with women or, you know, try to experiment with their sexuality. So that's basically what I'm going to be telling you today. I'm done rambling. I'm not gonna shoot and coat this bitch. And I'm ready, honestly, to just hop right into this. Okay, so I was around 13, 14 years old when I met this person. Let's say her name is... Her name was Guadalupe, okay? That's just, that's what her name's gonna be in, in the story, and you're just gonna have to fucking deal with it. So Guadalupe and I had some mutual friends. Our mutual friends are basically who I would, you know, Skype every night, or video chat, or whatever. They are like basically my online friends. Back at the time, when I was 13, 14, I didn't really have friends where I grew up, so I would basically be so excited at night because everybody's on the computer, and like everyone's ready to video chat, and I just video chat with everyone for hours. And at this time, I'm, I'm bisexual. Um, I know a lot of people say that like bisexuality is like a unicorn or like you know it doesn't exist. But I, I you know I do think I do know that bisexuality exists. But you know I feel like I was just definitely um, sugarcoating it for everybody. Like no, I wasn't in for you know the vagina. So I'm video chatting with all my friends and they bring this girl. She's very cute. She's just like got such a funny personality. We bonded very well. The conversation starts so effortlessly. And that's when I like in people. That's what I like in anyone, whether you're a boy, girl, fucking dog, like I don't know. If me and you can like Scissor. No, if me and you can bond, it's it's totally a go for me. So a few days later I text Guadalupe on my own saying like Hey, wanna like VC tonight? VC stands for video chat. And she's like, yeah, for sure. So me and Guadalupe um, video chat that night and we talked for hours and hours about our life and our problems and you know, yada yada yada. And like, it, it, it was like me and Guadalupe where our minds were connected and being like 13, 14, like I was a little shook, bitch. I've never met someone that I connected with so deeply in my entire life. After that, Guadalupe and I would text every day, video chat every night, just hang out. There was nothing like sexual involved, no sexting, like it was just completely just conversational. And I fell in love with the thought of like having someone to be with and have someone care about me that much. And it's like double sided where I care just as much as she cares about me. And uh, I was totally into that. So basically I told her, I was like, hey, do you wanna be my girlfriend? Guadalupe was shook. And basically we were dating. I mean, like we weren't, it was nothing like, no nudes, no nothing. Like she like whip her tits out on Skype and be like, yeah, like, oh my God. Yeah. There was nothing, nothing like that. Just pure conversational, so whatever. So me and Guadalupe were internet dating for two years. So probably ended when I was about 15. Right around when I was 15 and starting to mature, um, I flew Guadalupe out to VidCon. If you don't know what VidCon is, I'm not even, you know what fucking VidCon is. So I fly out Guadalupe, VidCon gets me a room, and I'm beyond just like, wow, this is gonna be the best weekend. Like, I'm so ready to lose my virginity. And I just, I think being so hormonal and so young, I could just like think I could put my dick in anything and I would just enjoy it. So I'm just like, yeah, like I'm about to tear Guadalupe's pussy up. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck am I doing? Guadalupe, like she's here, like Guadalupe is a real person. And don't get me wrong, I can still tell when a woman is attractive or pretty or beautiful. So like, it's not when I see a girl today, I'm just like, ew, like, ew, she's a pussy. Like, it's not fucking like that. So Guadalupe is a very, very pretty person and I knew that she was attractive. So I pick her up from the airport and the first night, it was just like, Whoa. We go to VidCon, we check into our room. So my parents' room is conjoined with our room. So they check me and Guadalupe in, they go in their room, uh, me and Guadalupe go in our room. 
And so instantly my mom opens, opens up the door and you know, it's just, it's like one big like connected little family. So whatever, uh, we're hanging out at VidCon, we're meeting new people, we're just hanging out together. I had to do like my meet and greets and shit. I had to do some like speaking shit and performing shit. You know, when I go to VidCon, I have to work. I don't really get to play a lot. So when I do, it's very valuable. So I had a few hours off and uh, <laughs> and I texted her. <laughs> I think I texted her like, Let's do this thing. Like, what is this, an action movie? Like, what the fuck, are you Liam Neeson? Like, I will find you, and we will do this thing. <laughs> Me and Guadalupe go back to our little room that's connected with my parents' room, and they're in there taking like a nap because it's just, it's a long day. But cons, it's just, it's just a, it's a big, big thing. It's a clusterfuck, it's amazing, but it's just, it's, there's a lot going on. So we were so lucky because the conjoining doors, like where they were closed at this time. So it was almost like there were two completely separate rooms. So I was just like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to lock the conjoining door. And by the time it's, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of nighttime. It's just like seven or eight, the sun's down. And basically this is just like two years all built up of like, of everything. I take off my clothes, <laughs> Guadalupe takes off her clothes and I was shaking, like I literally, I was actually shaking. So I pushed back and I was like, I'm so nervous. And she's like, don't be. And she's just like, basically just like, <laughs> with everything just like open. She's like, just like, don't be nervous. And honestly, just like seeing there with like her, just like her legs spread apart and just like that blossoming vagina. I was a little scared and definitely second guessed myself. But I was like, you know what, you're not a fucking pussy. You're not a fucking pussy. So fuck that fucking pussy. You're not a fucking pussy. So fuck that fucking pussy. So keep in mind, I'm like, I'm soft. What's down there is like, not functioning. You know like when you see movies and you start the car, it's like Like bitch, the motor never fucking started. And I also forgot to tell you that Sam Potter bought me fucking condoms. I mean, I don't even think at this time in my life I could actually like get this person pregnant. But you know, you can never be too careful. We don't need like Trevor Moran getting some girl pregnant even though he's fucking gay. Like, like just wrap that shit up. So, I mean, it's like everything is in slow motion. Like I'm fucking like, I have to hold it because it's just like not working. <laughs> I just couldn't get hard. It eventually led to me soft, like, halfway inside of her. <laughs> oh my god, I never thought I'd say that. And it just, it didn't work. And uh, I pulled out, I was just like, I'm too nervous. That's, that was my excuse. I was just like, I'm too nervous. And I think it was a total letdown to Guadalupe. Cause I love Guadalupe with all of my 15 year old heart. And I honestly felt bad. And I'm, and I'm sure she was just like, wow, like I didn't like get fucked. Like I would be pissed too. Like fuck, I didn't get fucked. So I have a real question. I tell people that I'm a virgin all the time, which I, which I am. As being a gay person, I've never had sex with a man. So would you consider a soft dick halfway in and then it's like freaking out for 30 seconds and then it's like pulling out and quitting. Like that's not losing your virginity. Like wouldn't you count losing your virginity like when you're like you're done, like like you do it and it's like you finish. Like I guess I I've dabbled in the world of, of woman is what you could say. I've dabbled in the world of pussy. So what I'm actually going to do right now is call Guadalupe and uh, see if she will answer. Hey. Yeah? Are you alone? Um, yeah, I was like sleeping. <laughs> okay, wake up, wake up, wake up. I'm filming right now and I wanted to know if you could give me details on how you felt. Like when I told you I was too nervous. What did you feel while it was happening? Was it awkward for you? I didn't feel anything. <laughs> you're like, no, I remember you yeah, I remember you asking, you're like, is it in? I'm like, like I think, and you're like, what do you mean you think, you fucking pussy? We were literally like, okay, let's let's turn around and see if this works. And I was like, what the fuck? Is yeah, going on? yeah. I like tried different positions and it just like didn't work. All right, well, uh, I love you. Thank you for answering. <laughs> you too. Okay, bye. But yeah, Guadalupe and I still talk to this day, and uh, and I consider her someone very very close to me. So you know, sometimes uh, when you're in a relationship with somebody. 
Maybe it's just best if it works out as friends. Moral of the fucking story, my dick was fucking silly putty. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this embarrassing story time. If you want me to tell more stories, because I have a lot of fucking stories, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and uh, comment below. You guys are so amazing, thank you so much for watching. Oh, also, my team was telling me that I do not promote my Snapchat enough. This is my Snapchat. At Trevor Moran, you can just get your Snapchat out and take a picture of it in the Snapchat app and you will instantly add me as a friend and that's it's literally that simple. Isn't that amazing? But all of my other social medias are in the description below. My dick was shook. Bye. <laughs>